Yo, what the fuck is going on, guys? Welcome back to another fire fucking story time. Yes, sir. You already know what is about to go down. Look around you, man. Sorry about those clothes, but hey, what I'm not sorry about. We're gonna smoke that za za. Don't smoke cards, man. Watch me smoke cards instead. I haven't hit it today. My eye is actually red as fuck. It burns, bro. I pet my cat and then I like rub the fuck out of my eye. Does my eyes watery make your eyes water? Well, if you answered yes, that technically makes you a dick rider. Namaste. Let's go ahead and hit this shit. Grab whatever you're hitting. If it's nicotine, I'm gonna have to beat your ass. Sorry. No small cars, man. Watch me do it instead. That one little ass hit. All right. Uh, not one hit. All right. Let's do this thing. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and tell this fucking story. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm low-key chopped cheese. However, I think I can still get this story done. Let's do it. Let's tell a story, man. <laughs> bro, off that one little ass hit, bro. That's crazy. So, this story takes place about four or five years ago. Damn, that shit's crazy, bro. Time goes by fast. 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 Time goes fast, bruh. So, four or five years ago, when I was in fucking seventh grade, look, I even thought about not telling this story. To be honest to you, I thought about not telling it, but, bro, he, just listen. Just hear it out. Hear it out. You're probably reading the title like, bro, what the fuck is this guy talking about? This is the story of we stole something from our friend that we were hanging out with. I guess not really our friend. It's more of like a me and my friend and these two girls and this girl's house. We, we stole something, but we returned it. Let's explain how it happens. It's funny, all right? It's funny. All right? Give it a chance. What about my uncle? Did you give him a chance? Did you? All right, that's a neck. <laughs> <That's a neck. laughs> oh, shit. Bro, holy shit, bro. All right. Let's do this. Story starts now. It is actually a good story. I, I think it's going to be funny. So about four or five years ago when I was in seventh grade, um, I think it was the summer going into eighth grade. I believe it was the summer going into eighth grade. I used to sneak out a lot, bro. Like I used to sneak out a lot, but hey, I was always grounded. So bro, I got to sneak out. Like don't ground me. And then maybe I won't have to sneak out. Simple v simple. So you know me, I'm sneaking out. <laughs> And uh, I'm sitting out with my boy Harold. We meet up with these two girls, girl number one, girl number two. Not going to put a face or a name or anything, describe them or anything. Um, because, I mean, they don't really matter. All right, let's be real. We're not, like, really, like, uh, close. We're, we're good friends for a little bit, I guess. Um, I guess. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, say girl number one, girl number two. Me and Harold meet up with girl number one, girl number two. At this fucking outside pool, like, I think I was with Harold already, and then we walked and met them there. Um, it's like, the, oh, bro, I know exactly where we went. We went to this public pool. It's called Kiwanis. If you know, you know. Um, I think it's called Kiwanis. Is it? Fuck, no, it's not. It is not. It's not. It's not. There's some random public pool, bro. I don't know what it's called, bro. I'm tripping. But we had, we like, Bro, we, we were going to hop the fence and just swim in the pool. Like It's like 2 a.m., bro. We were going to hop the fence and swim in the pool, which I hopped the fence. This tall-ass, spiky-ass fence. Like, bro, I'm, I'm thinking, how are they going to get in here? I'm, I can go, I'll go around and let y'all in. Like, bro, I don't know about this. They bitched out. I'm like, bro, were we not about to swim in this bitch? Because, bro, they have, like, these tall-ass diving boards, bro. 
Like, dog, we are jumping off them bitches, bro. I'm sorry. That shit sounds fun right now. I'm in seventh grade at this time. Like, bro, come on. That shit sounds fun, bro. I hopped the fence. They're not about it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh. They're not about it. Whatever, man. Y'all lame as shit. Let me hop back over. Let me hop back with y'all. So then we go back to girl number one's house. Now, like I said, I did say we're not that really, I guess, good friends. So, yeah, my actions will speak with my words. All right? <laughs> so we're in the crib. Nothing really eventful. We're kind of just like walking around. We're in the bathroom taking pictures. Like, just like, I'm like playing with her dogs. But she has like dogs around the house. Like, me and Harold are dead ass looking for food, bro. We're hungry. We're like, yo, you got food in here? And, like, I think her mom was home or some shit. Like, because she's like, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Like, bro, I'm like, who's home, bro? Like, I don't really remember who was home, but, like, she just kept telling us to be quiet. Like, bro, we were, like, sneaking through the house, bro. I had, like, a black, all black on, black beanie, black jacket, black joggers. Like, bro, I look like I'm about to mug this place, bro. And you're telling me to be quiet, bro. Like, is this even your house, bro? <laughs> but, like, it definitely was because she was hooking it up, hooking it up with the snacks. And uh, this next day she hooked it up with. She didn't know that she hooked it up with. I still don't know if she knows about this. <laughs> Damn, bro. This sounds bad, bro. Yeah, we we're, were bad, bad people, bro. Like, were. This is this a while ago, all right? A lot happens in five years. Uh, high school is a lot. Um, coming out of high school is a lot. And, uh, yeah, that all happens in that five short. I guess short, yeah. Because your life's pretty long. Not really, actually. No, I'm saying that. Five years is a lot of years, all right? A lot of years to grow. I like telling these stories because, um, yeah, a lot of it is like failures or disappointments or bad shit that I've done. And, like, I hope it deters you from, deters, d -d 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 I hope it deters you from doing a lot of these substances. Like, no cap. Um, I didn't do any substance on this night. I hope it deters you from just being a bad person. <laughs> Because I have done a lot of bad shit, bro, like, which I do feel bad about. And um, all I can do is just do better. So here I am, admitting my crimes, I guess, confessing my sins to you guys. Me and Harold are going through her drawers, bro. No cap. Like, as a joke, we're, and she's like, stop. Like, like, Harold's like, oh, what do you got in here? Like, we're looking in that bitch, bro. That's just like disrespectful, bro. We're like, I forget. I think we were looking for batteries or something. I hope. But to be honest, we were really just looking through her shit. And then, I'm not going to lie, I think it was Harold, because I don't know how we got it. Next thing I know, we're outside. Harold has her fucking cell phone. Like, it's not girl number one's actual phone, but like her mother's like trap, it looked like. like it looked like her mom was hiding like a trap phone in the drawer, in the kitchen. Like, oh, in case any of your, your phones break, here's a trap or something like that. Like, it's just like an old phone. That they're not using anymore. Bro takes it. We leave. And like they're like, alright, bye. And like we're leaving. And then like I remember Harold's like, bro, I took their phone. Like, oh shit, bro. Like, bro, no way, bro. And like we were weak as fuck. We thought it was funny. And we we hopped the fence. Like, which makes me think it's not even her house, because she had us hop the fence and go in the back. Like, I don't know if it was like her dad's house or something. I'm confused if they like bro, I don't know, bro. It was sus, bro. It was just all weird. Like, even talking about the story sounds weird. Like, bro. Because I forgot to mention, to get into the house, we hopped the back fence. She's like, oh, you have to hop the fence and help us pull us up. Like, is this your house, bro? Like, bro, this does not sound like your house. And then, like, she snuck us in the back. Like, she kept telling us, be quiet, be quiet and shit. And so Harold is, like, showing me the phone. And we're hopping the fence again going back. And we're laughing. There's like this big green field where we had to get to the house. We're walking past the green field. There's like a school next to the house. We walk past the school. And like, bro, we just like stopped. Like, and like, I, I think it was Harold that first said, he's like, bro, should I like put it back? Bro, I was so weak. Like, bro, put it back? Put it back, bro? Bro, you just did a theft and you want to put it back. Fuck, bro. Um, Fuck it, yeah, bro. Let's put it back, like. Bro, we're thinking like, bro, are we going to go back in the house? Hey. <laughs> when we get there, <laughs> Harold still has the phone. 
bro, we get there, and, like, he's trying to hop the fence. I'm like, bro, can you not hop it? I'm trying to boost him up. Like, I forget how we got over, but he can't hop this fucking fence. I'm like, bro, I'm not going back there. I'm literally telling him, like, bro, I, I can't go back, bro. Like, because I'm thinking there definitely was a, an adult in the house. Like, bro, I'm not going back in. Like, she's making it sound like we shouldn't be in there or some shit. Like, I don't even know if it was her house, bro. The way she was acting, like, bro, I don't know where we were at, bro. Like, I'm not going back in there, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not getting, like, a picture taken of me, bro. I ain't putting that shit back. So, Harold grabs the fucking phone. Like, looks at me, he's like, yeet, bro. He throws that shit over the fence, bro. Launches that shit, bro. Bro, out, bro. He's like, let's go. Bro, he's out, bro. He's like, I'm just gonna just throw it over. Out, bro. No way, bro. This dude actually fucking threw the phone over the fucking fence, bro. Like, bro, you returned it, but it's probably broken now, bro. Like, you threw it over the fence. Like, bro, he threw it, bro. They had a pool, too. It's probably in the pool. Maybe it didn't hit the pool. If it didn't, then it hit the hard-ass fucking sidewalk. Like, bro, it's broken, dog. We returned it, though. Returned the phone. And, uh, yeah, we ran away. Went home. Went on our separate ways. Thank the heavens, the sneak out heavens, we didn't get caught by cops tonight. Because, bro, I, I got caught by fucking police officers on curfew a lot, bro. Like, bro, that shit happened multiple times. Which is, to me, a lot. Like, bro, fuck, bro. No way I'm getting caught this much, bro. I'm literally just trying to get, like, polar pops and shit. I wasn't even doing drugs in middle school. Like, bro, I'm just trying to, like, get, like, polar pops and shit. Like, dead ass. I'm not even doing anything, officer. Mm. Anyways, that's pretty much it, man. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. Hopefully it was funny. Hopefully you got a laugh out of it. Hopefully you um learned a life lesson. Don't steal things that you don't actually want to steal. Or maybe how about just don't steal things at all. Just don't steal things at all. Because they're hard to put back when you steal them. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you fucked with it actually helps me out too helps out the algorithm have a good night day whenever you're watching peace out bye if you like it's gonna be a bitch